time it is 6 10 p.m. Alexa, what's the date today? Today is Saturday the 18th of June. Alexa, can you tell me a joke? What has April been flying? A big noise. Alexa, what's the thought of the day? Here is your thought for June 18th. From Leonardo DiCaprio, why worry? If you have done your best you can, worrying won't make it any better. If you want to be successful, respect one rule. Never let failure take control of you now and show that our new dialysis negation dialysis as everybody has gone through something that has changed them in a way that they never could go back to the person they once were. Did that answer your question? Yes, thank you. Thanks for your feedback. This evening, you can expect showers, with temperatures around 12 degrees Celsius. Right guys, so this afternoon I went for a walk with Max. Um, I didn't realise how wet and cold it was, so I went out in that t-shirt and those shorts, and it was cold. So when I go out this evening, I'm obviously going to put on trousers and a warmer top because it was fairly cold out there and windy. Right, so I told you those guys were laughing. I'm not saying they were laughing at me because that would sound silly. They were laughing when I, near that soldier ship. And then I noticed a couple of lads or blokes hanging down the end of the field. So I took Max a different way. I walked him down and around the field. And obviously my son is going away for the weekend. So I can't call him if there's any trouble. And, you know, my phone is not working. So if I get into any trouble, all I can call is the police, right? If there's like some blokes ganging up on me or something. All I can do is call the police because my phone uh, has got no credit on it. So basically, I walked around the field and then I started to come home. I, I got pissed off. So I walked Max halfway around the field, heard those blokes laughing, seen a couple of blokes down the end of the field and I got pissed off so I thought, oh fuck this, I'm going to go home. You know, Max is a small dog, he doesn't need to be walked extensively. So I walked him around and then this guy with like a blue tracky on started yelling. I think he was stunned or drunk. He started yelling and I didn't hear what he was saying and then I, I stood still because he started chasing me. So I stood still and he went, have you got a lighter? Have you got a lighter? And then I shouted back, I don't smoke, because I don't. I don't carry a lighter. Um, I went, no, I don't smoke. And then he obviously didn't hear me, because he started running towards me again. Have you got a lighter? Have you got a lighter? And then I shouted really loud, no, I don't smoke. And he went, oh, all right then. And he went off. When I came back, Opposite me on the side of the co-op was a dark-skinned couple, like, laughing together. Um, I, I didn't approach this bloke. I didn't bring him back to my flat. I didn't give him a lighter because I didn't have one. All the morning I've been getting messages uh, from somebody, unknown persons, uh, sending mails to my email account. And I kept saying, no, thank you, I'm not interested, I'm not interested, I'm not interested. Walked home, but I was feeling increasingly pissed bloody off. I woke up this morning, I hadn't had much sleep, I'd had about two hours sleep. Then I got woken up at 6.20. Then those kids started chucking things about upstairs, uh, and really loudly. And he went out, and I thought, oh, okay, oh, great, it's going to be peaceful. But um, it just turned out that I just got stressed. And the post lady had put my parcel into the post box, which 
which was good, it wasn't left on the floor. Um, came back into my flat and I just went, came upstairs. I cooked myself a baked potato with bacon. So I had a baked potato and sliced up pieces of bacon with a cup of coffee. And I, I ate a, a white, ice, white chocolate ice cream. And I just sat here and ignoring messages, doing the best as I can to, be, to make the day a, a bit better than it was last night and this morning, and failing. And then I thought, oh, I'll put a DVD on. What, what can I find to watch? Hot Fuzz. So I put Hot Fuzz on the DVD, you know, about the corrupt police. So I put that on, watched that, started to watch that. Then a car draws up like his girlfriend's upstairs, black with silver bars on the top. I see him to a bloke in a silver car getting the spark plugs out and starting the battery, I think, right outside my bedroom window. Um, so I shut the bedroom door, ignored that, came in here, and I've just stayed indoors most of the day. Um, nothing's going to happen because I'm going to do the same thing tomorrow. I was thinking about going to church, but I've actually changed my mind. I'm not going to church tomorrow, and I won't be going to my mum's either. She rang, she rang earlier on again, but I felt like I got snapped at this morning, so I didn't answer the phone. Um, she usually calls about eight or nine o'clock in the evening, and you know, um. Don't worry about me for food, because I've got plenty in the fridge and I've got food in the cupboard. I've got pasta, I've got cans of tuna, I've got limited amounts of beans, right? I'm trying to lose weight. I literally have tried to lose weight, right? Because being overweight is a strain on your heart. So I don't, I'm not, I don't want to go into the co-op and buy sweets and crisps and stodgy stuff. I'm doing this for a reason. So don't panic. I know when I go up to my mum, she gives me food, she feeds me a takeaway. But I'm, I know what I'm doing, okay? And as for men, if you wait, the right man will come along. You don't pick up anything, right? You don't sleep around, you wait. And if nothing comes, then you just carry on until it does. And if it doesn't, what the heck, fuck it. Everything's okay anyway. And it is. You don't invite the wrong types of people into your life which are going to cause more trouble than you've got already. Right? Um, my son is an adult, right? He's got his separate life. He doesn't want his mum interfering in his business all the time. I mean, my, I'm 53. I mean, my mum, <laughs> you know, she was so busy looking after my dad that had a heart condition, right? You know, you've got, sometimes you've got to let people go and let people live, all right? And look after yourself, mum. Have a rest. Take it easy. If you're in pain, just I, that's what I do. I just lie down on the sofa with a cover over me. Right, I'm in pain most of every day. And no other fucker gives a shit. You've got to look after yourself in this world because nobody else will. Now, I'm just carrying on as usual, as I usually do. And I'm fine. I don't give a fuck what anybody else thinks. See you later.